Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In a so let's jump right into this video without wasting any seconds. So just grab a fusion composition, right click, open a fusion page, and here let's open media pool. We grab the image, and then here we have our image, right? That's true. So we need the merge. Sorry, a merge. We want also a circle, as I said in the title of this video, so we can crop an image in the shape of a, cir a circle. So we, this eclipse is like a circle, right? So now this is an effect. This is uh, this is the foreground, which is like in front of you. This is the background, and this is the effect, or I don't know what to call it, but you know, it's just uh, so we connect this to the merge. And then here we need a background, go here, grab background, put it here. And now here, this media is the uh, the for or the foreground, that's something it's going to look in front, right? And now we can move this. So we have a circle. And then we can remove this. And if you want to move this, you can um, select the title and click on transform and now here we can move uh, click on transform then here we can move the image we can size the image we can change the position but if that's something you don't want, now this is in the edit page we have, but if you want to move the entire circle, what you have to do is to add the transform here. So now we can move it. If you want to stop some lag, if you, if, if you have, right click here and disable high quality and motion blur and select auto proxy. That's what I like to do. But it's still laggy. Sorry, that's the pivot. Just resize this very easily. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and take care.